you offered an interesting alternative to regulation, uh, basically some internal structures. Can you explain uh, what you suggested? Sure. Th the basic idea is this, that the regulation focus on changing the incentives under which banks operate. And this is a, a, a much part of a much bigger subject of relying on market incentives rather than on, on uh, detailed uh, rules and regulations. So the ex uh, incentives that I was talking about was that as a condition of having a bank charter, the bank would be required to maintain in its capital structure uh, long-term subordinated debt. And the subordinated debt means that it is junior to all the other uh, debt, all the other deposits on a bank's balance sheet. It is last in line in the event of a liquidation, last in line to be paid just ahead of preferred stock and common stock. And the subordinated debt in the example that I outlined would be required equal to 10% of the bank's liabilities. And I used the example of 10-year uh, bonds, 10-year maturity. That would mean that 1% of the bank's liabilities would be uh, rolling over every year. But the bank would have to repay the maturing bonds, just as banks always, uh, companies always have to repay the maturing bonds. And the bank would then have to go out in the market and sell a new block of bonds to replace the maturing ones. The bank would therefore have to maintain the confidence of investors in its safety and its soundness, its solvency, to be able to sell those bonds, because those bonds are last in line, remember. So the, that would force a great deal of market discipline on the bank and its operation. And if, those, if they had trouble selling those bonds, what does that tell the bank? If they had trouble selling the bonds, it tells the bank two things. For in the first instance, if they do not sell the bonds, then the bank is forced to shrink to fit within its remaining subordinated debt that's outstanding. And the bank would have to shrink by 10% if its outstanding subordinated debt shrinks by 10% because they've repaid the maturing issue. And any bank can shrink by 10% in a year. They can let loans run off. Uh, they can sell assets. And so what this does is that it manages the downsizing of a bank, if that's necessary, in the private sector and not by the regulators telling the bank exactly what it has to do. So the bank would do it based on its calculation of what it has to do to live within its uh, reduced amount of subordinated debt. And the bank would also be simultaneously saying, what do we have to do to improve our operations so that we can sell more subordinated debt next year so we can uh, grow once again? And they would do all the sorts of things that a company does to make itself attractive. You know better than I do how the clamoring for new regulation, more sweeping regulation, super regulators and so forth uh, are out there, um, the systemic regulator. Would a change like this, having uh, rules in place that are part of the structure, really eliminate the need for such regulation? The clamor for more regulation is a clamor for this must not be allowed to happen again. But there is no clamor for any specific regulation. That's the problem. So people are crying out to the federal government and saying, you've got to fix this. It is totally unfair that we, as responsible taxpayers, are having to bear the cost uh, of this cleanup the cost of keeping these companies alive. And we understand that a lot of shareholders and bank executives in the past had very good returns. They're no longer perhaps have their jobs, but they've walked away with small fortunes from their past compensation, pursuing the policies that left these companies in such a vulnerable situation. So here I am, a responsible taxpayer. I'm not overextended, and you're asking me to bail out out of my own pocket, because I'm going to get be taxed to pay for this. So people resent that. They have a right to resent it. They ought to resent it. So they want it fixed. They say the government must do something to fix it. But they don't know what to do. Nor is the government offering any specific plan of what to do. So the government is talking about, government officials are talking about tighter regulation, but they're not talking about any substance. As far as I can tell, with the exception of saying we need more capital, 
this talk about tighter regulation is totally empty. There are no specifics. What exactly are the regulators going to do? So the proposal that I outlined is a very specific proposal about what the regulators should do. It should be written into the law, in my view. It should be written into the law that a condition for a bank charter is that the bank must maintain the subordinated debt in its capital structure. If you're not willing to do that or unable to do it, then goodbye, no bank charter. It's just that simple. You know a lot of people. You are somebody who was on the inside and, and, and has a, a lot of uh, friends and acquaintances who are still uh, in decision-making situations. What's their reaction when you propose this? I, I've not talked to uh, uh, people in any uh, detail about this uh, I inside the Federal Reserve. Uh, I think I, it's got to be the case, just knowing the Fed and the staffers there, it's got to be that there's a lot of thought going into what the nature of the regulation ought to be. I think they're too timid in offering any proposals, uh, much too timid. I don't know the Treasury as well. Uh, there's a lot of good people in the Treasury. I assume that there has to be a lot of thought. I believe that they're too timid because they believe that they don't want to do anything that sort of upsets the current situation. That current situation remains dicey, although it looks like it's improving. I think that timidity is wrong because clarity as to where we're going to go, I believe, would be very helpful in uh, starting to free up the financial markets, allowing people to take risk and to make decisions on business expansions. 